Hello, Internet. I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Freddy Fish Free. This is going to be the last episode. We are cornering the shell thief right now, except Lufer and his greed decided to take a jewel that was precariously placed in this location and ended up getting him locked away in this cell. So we need to save him, obviously. He's our best friend. All right. So let's try going this way. Well, this is a very interesting Aztec temple. We've got, like, booby traps and stuff in a kid's game. Granted, they're very tame booby traps, but still, this place is awesome. Also, very nice, very accurate architecture to the Aztecs. Ooh, that's a gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's go up here. Look at all these cool hallways. As far as I'm concerned, a fish is just the right thing to be. <laughs> Glad you think so, Freddy. Aw, oh, nothing back here. Are you serious? Man, I forgot how long it's been since I played this. I've forgotten a lot of the stuff. Like, I don't remember exactly how to do all these puzzles in here. But that's okay. Oh, look at that pretty face. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful blue. Uh, oh, uh, phew, this blue crystal could really come in handy. Break it loose. Ah, so it looks like those crystals are all stuck on pretty good. Apparently the ancient Aztecs use super glue to hold it in place. Alright. Go back this way. We'll go towards green now. We'll just need to find some nail polish remover to get rid of that super glue. <laughs> nice mustached fish. Ah, that's right. Oh, ignore the skulls, kids. It's a chisel. I should hold on to that. It might come in handy. That's a weird-looking chisel. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so we got ancient fish gods and then, like, a window washer. All in the same place. Pretty cool. Alright. Ooh, I love that dragon head. Or whatever it is. Oh, green like Luther. Clearly, that must be the one we need. Oh, oh, if only I could break off this green crystal, it might come in handy. Indeed. Well, we've got a chisel now, so let's a try that. A chisel could loosen that crystal. Also, remove its this value. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. <laughs> that might come in very Wow, that easy. chisel made it come off in one very clean piece. That never happens. Hey, the crystal grew back. Wow, magic! We also want the red crystal, of course. Beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Beautiful. Wow, look at the light from this blue crystal. These free lights, we could make any color in existence. That could come in handy. Depending on how much we shine. In conjunction with the others. 
That's right. Now we go back this way. So this leads to the main shrine area. Freddy, I want to grow up to be just like you. I think you're fine just the way you are. Except lose some of the greed. I'm glad you're my best buddy, Luther. Same, Freddy, but can you let me out of jail? <laughs> Alright, so there's a red light shining down there, and there's a slot for him to hold a crystal. Let's try giving him the red crystal. I have an idea. Ooh. Now let's try removing it. Yippee! I got it! Bam! Red on red. Just put whatever crystal he's holding in the slot, and that's that. Hey, Lufer, we're here to get you out. Jailbreak time. Yes! Luther! I'm free! Let's put that jewel back. If I have to. Booyah. Look, Lothar, the thief must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. Ooh, a valuable clue. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. No conch show means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. Ho, ho, ho. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Whoa, the angry mob. Oh, Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this cane. Which means the thief is... Well, who has the cane? That was Gil Barker, of course. Gil Barker, you're the thief. Ah, that could have been anybody's cane in that bag. You haven't got a thing on me. Yow! Oh, no? <laughs> okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess, I did it. The festival is the one day of the year when nobody comes to the carnival. And if nobody comes to the carnival, I don't make any money. But what's money compared to the happiness that the festival brings all your friends and neighbors? Anyway, no matter what anyone else says to make it seem right, it's just plain wrong to steal. You know, there are winners and losers, and I sure don't feel like a winner. <laughs> Who let him out? I'm sorry. Here's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. Oh, a living purple That's seer okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and old son. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand, exalted keeper of the conch. The festival physically cannot begin without that. <laughs> the man is like Patty Parker. Gil was convicted of violating Penal Code 214 for excessive greediness. He was sentenced to 4,672 hours of public service silently working in the library. Case closed. Wow, that's a pretty steep punishment. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> yeah, I like that because that's the first Freddy Fish game where it's like it could be a bunch of different people. It's not always the sharks. Also, the credit sequence is pretty cool. Because the bubbles turn into your favorite humongous entertainment characters. Ta da! And Fatty Bear. Good night! <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a very fun game, I recommend it, and of course that's not the only path. There might be, there's at least one more, maybe two more paths that I haven't explored. Oh, come on, I want, Ta -da. I want Buzzy to talk. 
Yeah, for those of you not in the know, the weird shaped guy. Hang on. Not the cow. Good night. This is Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. That's like the one Humongous Entertainment series I actually haven't played on my channel. But yeah, holy cow, like the angry mob was just gonna like they can like just beat up Uncle Plenty because they're it's all his fault. We're gonna keep a piece of our mind like advancing towards the jail. That's kinda dark for a kid's game. Oh well, all's well that ends well. Except for Gil Barker, who's just like, money is the only thing that matters. Also, Freddy Fish is pretty clear, like, cut and dry, like, no, stealing is always wrong, like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, probably, I'm that's buddy, true. The knowledge bug. But it's just kind of funny when, like, other, like, games have, like, very advanced, like, well, is that really right or not? Like, and then Freddy Fish is just nice and cut and dry for the kids. I, I like it. And holy cow, Freddy is getting down with the dance floor. But I, I still think it's weird that, like, they physically can't have the festival unless someone can blow the horn. Like, well, like that's just not a thing that can happen. Also, Gil Barker, that's, like, the dumbest reason to steal ever. He's like, there's one day of the year where I can't really make all that much money. He's like, I, I better make sure that day changes so I do make money. It's like, or, you know, you, you could just go, like, get a weekend job, you know? And I realized I never played this carnival. Shoot. Well, anyways, we'll have to do that when I do the next episode as with Marty, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Marty. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless. Are you all done playing with us? See you real soon.